Hello, Dom, subs, sluts, servants, and sissies. This is Mistress Marley, and welcome to another episode of Dom in the City podcast, where we talk about everything domination, kink, BDSM, you name it, we have it. We have just come out of Black History Month. The reparations was full. The reparations was out there. I was getting my money. I was getting paid. I was whooping white ass. I was doing all of that. Shout out to all my black doms that was making money during Black History Month. White subs, remember... Black History Month, it just doesn't stop there. Pay us all year. Pay us January through December, Mm -hmm. all of that. We need all the money, all right? So before I get into today's guest, because today's guest is very, very special. Today's guest is going to bring the heat. I'm first going to start off with our traditional kinky word of the day. So today's kinky word of the day is human furniture. And we have a perfect example of that right here with our little human furniture boys. (laughs) All right. So human furniture is the act of using a submissive man as a piece of furniture or a submissive person. But we have submissive men here. The reason why I like human furniture, because I mean, if you just look at it, it's appealing. I like to kick my feet up. And I'd like to use the bitches for what they need to be used for, right? Period. Use them. And a lot of men are into this, so you can use them as um, leg rest, coffee table, chair, bed. Sometimes you can even might use them as a little ashtray, as a little piece of furniture, mm-hmm. you know, something like that. But this is what we call human furniture, and subs do pay for sessions like this. So there are subs that will specifically pay to be used as human furniture. I like it. It's one of my favorite things to do, so... That's our kinky word of the day, y'all. Little update. Um, this month, if you're in L.A., I will be doing a goddess brunch in L.A. on March 23rd. It's my first time doing one in L.A. I'm not a big fan of L.A. I have a love-hate for L.A., so I must <laughs> love y'all enough to come out there because when I tell y'all when I get out there, I'm ready to come home. Um, L.A., a question I have for y'all. Where are the black people? Every time I go, I can't find y'all. Y'all must be hiding in a secret society or something. <laughs> but I can never find y'all. So I'm going to just put that out there. Come out when y'all see me or when y'all know I'm coming. So March 23rd, L.A. Goddess Brunch. There's still tickets available for that. And with that being said, we are going to get into our guest. I am going to go ahead and let her introduce herself. Hey, y'all. It's Queen Melanin coming straight from Dallas, Texas. Period. This ain't you know, Texas. This ain't Texas. <laughs> <laughs> we in New York, baby. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm an Ebony Femme Dom doing my thing and, you know, making the white boy sing type shit. Period. So. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, though. Yeah. How do you feel about that word, Ebony? Like, I know, like, it's on the sites and it is what it is and we got to use it sometimes to describe ourselves. But what mm-hmm. you, how do you feel about it? I think the word is cute. Mm -hmm. I know some girls named Ebony, so Mm -hmm. it's like, I don't know. Like, I've always associated it with something cute. But I'm tired of seeing white people use it. Yeah, I don't like when the white subs, like, talk to me that way. Like, My ebony goddess, my Nubian queen, my African. First of all, I I honestly don't know what level of African I am. Like, what... I don't know what my roots are necessarily. Mm. I should. It would be lovely. Yeah. I mean, a lot of us don't know our roots, unfortunately. Yeah. It's sad. I mean. But I definitely feel like sometimes it's overused mm-hmm. and uh, that could chill out a little bit. I, I, yeah. I don't really mind Ebony, though. Yeah. It's the chocolate for me. Mm. Because growing up, being a dark skinned woman. Yeah. It's chocolate everything. Yeah. Oh, you chocolate this, chocolate Girl. that. Oh, my chocolate goddess, my chocolate queen. Like, you're Caucasian. Don't call me chocolate. Not even just white people, though. Like, when I <laughs> lived, for those that know Washington Heights, when I lived uptown in Washington Heights, it's mostly Dominicans. Mm-hmm. And the, the stuff they would say, negra, 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 oh. hey, negra, hey, negra, hey, chocolate, hey, chocolate. I'm like, yo, stop. Negra. Stop. I'm like, y'all just black people that know how to speak Spanish. Like, stop. Like, y'all doing uh, too much. Uh-uh. But it's, it's, the word chocolate, too, I can see. But for some reason, I will take chocolate over ebony. Because even when I'm uploading content and I, like, put ebony as the tag, I'll be like, I just yeah. something about that word. I'm just like, yeah, you know. It feels like a division sometimes. Yeah. Though. Like, yeah. I definitely notice when I tag, like, let's say a website like Clis for Sale or something. Mm-hmm. I'll tag ebony female domination. And I'll be like, number one, number two, most of the time. But I just do female domination. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like number 16 yeah number like, you know what i'm saying so further, yeah i like yeah. that we have that you know thing that's specifically for us because we do very different content sometimes you know it's the same stuff but we powerful yeah so they had to put a label on it they put a label on it but they could have really just said well, powerful female domination because well, you'll ivory see doms up there then put you know? ivory yeah give them that name. yeah you can do all that but yeah so um <laughs> 
So tell tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, you know, how long you've been a pro dom, mm -hmm. what made you get into it, and mm -hmm. like your form of domination. Because every time I bring up here, I want to know about your form because I feel like in popular culture, it's only one form being pushed. You got to be this way. Yeah. Like, that's all. So just give us a little background on your, your steps into this world. Okay. So... I started with the foot industry. I did not start off as a pro dom. Mm -hmm. I was at a community college before I went to my university school. And there was this one guy, and we were in, uh, what do you call them, like the little group meetings or whatever. You know how you have group projects? Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. It was a group project. And I noticed, like, he was always looking down, but I always had sandals on. Because, you know, I'm from California, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I'm not from Texas, but you know, I'm a Cali <laughs> baby. So I'm from California. And I always got sandals on, so he's always staring at my feet. And this one day, he was like, no, I asked him. I was like, hey, I have a question. He was like, yeah. I was like, you have like a, a foot fetish or something. Because everybody heard about it. I heard about it from Scary Movie when they put the hot sauce on the feet and they were sucking the toes. Oh That's my God. how I learned <laughs> out about uh, a foot fetish. Mm -hmm. But I asked him, I was like, you have a foot fetish? And he was like, yeah, I actually do. I think your feet are very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I was like. Oh, okay. Like, nice to know. And that's all I wanted with that information. But he was like, oh, can I take pictures of your feet? I'll give you $40. And I was like, because uh, me not yeah. knowing what you're going to do with these pictures. Yeah, like, mm. yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, 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 nah. But then I was broke the next week. Mm -hmm. And I'm not ashamed to say I've been broke before, oh. baby. Okay? I'm real humble. I tell her been, all the time. You know? Like, I, I come from the struggle sometimes. Just a little bit. Not too crazy, but a little bit. Yeah. And um, I was broke the next week. And I was like, you still trying to take those pictures? And he was like, yeah. So we went to this little pond that I have in my community college. Mm -hmm. And he took the pictures, and they actually came out very nice. It was on his, like, iPhone. You remember the color iPhones? Mm -hmm. It was one of those. <laughs> he took the pictures, and they came out cute or whatever. And I was like, okay, he's probably going to go jerk off to these pictures later or whatever, whatever. So I didn't let it be a thought for a very long time again. I'm like, it's just something I did. I thought it would be a one-time thing. Right. And then when... I, like, threw out, I think it was, like, summer 16. It was some dude that, like, messaged me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you have very nice feet. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is the second time I'm hearing this. <laughs> like, if there's money to be made, somebody right, let I'm me a, know something. Yeah. I want to know something. Yeah. So then I started talking to him, and we just DMing back and forth, back and forth. And he's like, yeah, I could put you on the game. But to me, it sounded like he wanted to, like, pimp my feet out. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, mm, like I, don't I don't know. know about that. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I'm kind of skeptical. But he was doing a really good job at, like, influencing me to make a foot page. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, let's just use my regular Instagram first. Terrible <laughs> idea. Because he posted my pictures. Mm -hmm. Like, I sent, like, you know, little pictures or whatever to him. And he posted my pictures on, like, his Instagram. And mm -hmm. he had five other girls that was like, you know, he put on, like, friends that he knew, and he was just putting them on. Mm -hmm. And they posted it. So now I got people under my Instagram that I share with my family and my friends. Under my comments. We was talking just, about something. was just oh, talking about this. I seen it. And mm -hmm. I was like, when I say I could relate so yeah. hard, I was like, oh, my God. So I was like, okay, let's just make me the foot page. I made the foot page, and people started messaging me. He was telling me, like, oh, you can do custom videos. You can do Skypes. You can do all of that stuff. You can mm -hmm. make money. He, like, really giving me the game. Like, mm -hmm. He was a 100% dude. Like, he was cool. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try it out. I ended up getting into my university. I went to, should I say where Period. I went to? I mean. Uh, that's kind of personal. To, yeah. I went yeah. to a good school in California. <laughs> a very good school. I'll just say that. And I ended up getting my university. Mm -hmm. And I kind of kept, like, the, the foot page thing going. Because I was like, okay, this will be a cool little side hustle. Yeah. Because I was going to get a job on campus. And I knew they wasn't going to pay me much or nothing. Right. So I was like, Yeah, okay. them on campus jobs going to be paying shit. Nothing. I used to, um, on my campus, I used to be the person that checked people in at the gym. Ain't make shit. Yeah. Nothing. Then they be doing the work study thing. Like, yeah. I'm getting paid $40 for two weeks. That's what like, I did. I did the work study thing. Yeah. yeah. I was not feeling that. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm glad I got this little side hustle. So I started telling my friends about it. And if anybody watches this and they know me from way back in the day, I was Chocolate Fit Angel first. Mm -hmm. I had I like all that. my friends angel. become angels, girl. I was like, we're going to be the Charlie Angels of the foot That's fetish cute. world. So I put all my college friends on. We go on live on Instagram. This is before Instagram got super strict. Mm -hmm. We go on live on Instagram like every other day. We doing FaceTimes over here, customs over here. Like, you know, a little picture, custom pictures. People used to pay us to write their name on our feed or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was something that became very cool. I was enjoying it. 
But then I joined a majorette team, and they was like, you got to shut that I shit down. I saw that the other day. You was like, yes. you was like, oh, I did majorette dance. I was like, yes, sis. I, lo- crazy I love when I didn't Dom, go to the HBCU. I love when Dom show personality like that. Like, yeah. I love it. Like, we just, we are not just robotic or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. We but, are people. Yeah. We are ourselves. <laughs> and I feel like there's nothing wrong with just being who you are because if a sub pull up to me, I want you to know I'm going to be like this. Under yeah. The I'll be myself. vicious when you need me to be vicious. But I'm myself. But other than that, yeah. yeah. I'm a thousand percent authentic. I'm yeah. just me. But um, where was I at? Because I be getting, I be getting sidetracked. Girl, I don't know. I, I kind of sidetracked you a little bit. Oh, you were okay. saying that you were talking about the majorette thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I joined uh, a majorette team. Mm-hmm. Had to shut it down for a little bit. And everybody was, oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? They're trying to send me cash apps. You know, I'm accepting it. I'm like, oh, that's cute. But yeah. I got to take some time <laughs> off. Like, right. So uh, the year after, excuse me, hold on. You know, this is like, what is this champagne thing? Does yeah. anybody have a burping thing? The wine be making, right. <laughs> Girl, you might should have did it into the mic. Burp. Look, listen to me. The wine be making you burp for real. No, for real. For real. So um, it was like a year later because I only did it like my junior year of college. A year later, I was like, all right, I'm about to get back into this because, baby, the bills is due now, not later. Mm-hmm. So I got back into it, and that's when people started asking me for, like, different stuff. So it wasn't just foot stuff no more. People talking about, oh, like, yeah, I still want your feet in the camera, but can you tell me, you know, I have a little dick, or can you call me a white bitch, or can you? And I was like, hell yeah, I could do that. <laughs> like, you know, that's right up my alley. Oh, that's like, nothing. You like... know, and I'm at a white Caucasian school, yeah. so I'm like, I like to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like embracing my blackness Mm -hmm. so i started doing that and as time goes on like i had uh good conversations with a great friend of mine tiara doll Mm -hmm. we started chopping it up i see shout out to tiara doll yeah shout out to tiara (laughs) doll that's my girl and then i seen like you was doing classes and stuff and i was like oh there's a lot of like black people doing it yeah this is very nice like you know I'm, i'm looking at people's stuff i'm like oh yeah i could get into this so i'm kind of like trying to teach myself like what to do and what to get into and she's teaching me stuff i actually signed up for your class for like i was i think i was on there for like a cool like month maybe two months and i was like okay this is some different information like i found out about oh i don't want to get it wrong I, it was either you or tia i found out about night flirt through mm, but mm-hmm. i definitely learned some stuff yeah. from you and her yeah and then you know knowing what i knew about the foot world mm-hmm. and you know other doms that I seen mm-hmm. and being an adaptable person, that's a word, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Being an adaptable person, <laughs> I'm like, okay, I can get into this. Like, yeah. it's, it seems like something I could do. So I started doing that and, you know, I moved to Houston. I was traveling. Mm-hmm. I was doing foot worship sessions and I, ain't gonna lie, I was doing some foot job sessions mm-hmm. too. And people started asking for things like ball busting and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Now, I ain't gonna lie. In the beginning, I thought ball busting, they really wanted me to pop their testicles. Like, in completion. I mean, that's what I used to think, too. Like, all the way. Yeah. I was like, you're fucking lying. I was like, can I go to jail for that? Yeah. Somebody's going to sue me. I don't want to do that. Like, you know? So, Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm like... It'd be like that. I didn't know much of nothing. So, everything that I kind of went through, it was like learning a little bit from others, but like, really putting in the work to like, dive into it myself. Mm -hmm. And one day, I was like, I'm going to just go full dom like i got tired of doing foot jobs and i don't know foot money like it was it was still good and it's still great to this day Mm -hmm. but it was something about the foot industry that became very saturated and i was like "Uh." i mean you gotta think though for a lot of people the foot industry it might be like their first introduction into this because a Mm -hmm. lot of people too don't want to show their face so they think okay what can i do Mm -hmm. really quickly and then they show their feet like Mm -hmm. there's so many different feet pages out there so i definitely feel you with the like the saturation yeah it's the easiest thing for some people too because like Mm -hmm. recording your feet for some people that's easy like Mm -hmm. i could take off my shoes right now and record make some money right so right yeah some some stuff really do be saturated out there Mm -hmm. but i think the biggest thing is to be able to separate yourself from everybody else no facts that's why i try to tell the girls like try to have a personality y'all yeah have a brand like just don't get on saying send me money loser like mm-hmm. let's can do, do something that. different anybody let's let's shake up the anybody, table. it's 2024 like, like <laughs> anybody can do that you know? i know so. they gotta eventually get tired of the same lines from Girl. everybody like shake that shit the fuck up don't be scared <laughs> to like cuss these motherfuckers out like yeah do what makes you you a hundred percent thousand percent and i i a hundred percent think that this industry is a very like you can learn from others, 100%, because mm-hmm. yeah. I know you do the mentorship, and you know, I know others that do the mentorship. Mm-hmm. You can absolutely learn from others, but you're going to learn the most from yourself. 
Get because out it's there. like, Get what outside. are you into? What's your niche? What do you actually like? Like, you could do it for the free. I mean, I learned a lot from you going know? to events. Yeah. Like, getting out, talking to people. I try to tell people, too, like, okay, I understand if maybe you like virtual, but it doesn't hurt either to step from behind the computer screen mm-hmm. because you never know who you can meet in person. Exactly. You know, so exactly. I can I can teach you all you need to know. Other people can teach you all you need to know, but you need to get that firsthand experience. Because mm-hmm. if you're not willing to get that firsthand experience... I don't really know what to tell you from there. Mm-hmm. And you got to be willing to put in the work, too. Put the work in. Like, treat this like a business. Like, there's not a day that goes by this where I'm... A that's what I'm saying. Like, there's not this a day... Business. There's not a day that goes by where I'm not doing something, posting mm-hmm. something, editing something, doing this, doing mm-hmm. this, planning this tour, planning whatever. Like, mm-hmm. you really have to look at it that way, you know, so... It's like, if you haven't felt burnout at least once, oh my God. you're not doing enough. Girl, I felt burnout. Until you feel That's burnout, I was bur- you're not out. doing enough. Until you had that moment Girl. where you just laying in bed, staring at the ceiling like, oh Girl. Like, or or the moments, even the moments where them where subs hit me up for a session sometimes when I'd be like, yeah. I don't feel like I don't want to go to bed. Yeah. I don't want like, to. Like, like, are you what? available at 11 p.m., goddess? No. No. I'm in bed in my bonnet. This ain't I'm not a booty available. call. <laughs> what you got? Like, but then the other side of you is like, ooh, but well, you know, this is a quick little, right. quick little right. change or and whatever. And then you get it out the way and you be so happy you got it out the yeah, way. Yeah. To me, sometimes, though, like when it's stuff that I don't want to do, it's the lead up to it. Mm-hmm. Like you said, once you get out the way or you mm-hmm. in them last five minutes of session, you're mm-hmm. like, okay. But the lead up, sometimes I'll be like, it's the doing the makeup, doing the hair, Girl. putting the outfit on. That's the process. Going to the location. Doing- yeah. Yeah. The It's the process getting into yeah. it. But it's kind of like going to the gym when you think about it. Yeah. Like, it takes a minute to get your clothes on, get yourself situated, get ready to go to the gym. Like, okay, I'm about to... I'm about to be out of breath in yeah. like 20 minutes. So Yeah, but you know that's interesting. You get there and it feels great. It's like, ooh, I'm so happy I'm doing this. I'm doing yeah. something good for myself. Like, I'm making this person happy. I'm happy. I'm getting paid. Yeah. And it's a good time. It's usually But you know, it's it's interesting because a lot of a lot of doms or a lot of people in this industry don't really talk about like the burnout. Oh like, yeah. Of not wanting to do sessions. Mm-hmm. I think people see us and think, oh, we always want to do sessions because of the money. Like there's literally days where I'm just like, no, mm-hmm. not today. Like I'm yeah. not talking to nobody today. I'm not doing nothing. Mm-hmm. I even saw your post where you was like, you know, you was feeling overwhelmed. You ain't want to do nothing else. You just want to drink, pay for my drinks or whatever. Yeah. And that's the reality that, that, that some people Yeah, I saw that post. <laughs> I'm like, yo, that's the reality that some people need to understand. We are yeah. not always on twenty four seven. Like there's sometimes where I just wanna be vanilla me. Like yeah. I oh, just want to yeah. watch Netflix. I just want to go shopping. I want to go to the grocery store. I you just wanna, have to make that separation. Regular stuff. Yeah. You yeah. have to make that separation. Because you'll get burnt Because out. I was like, dang, like, I'm putting so much time and effort into Queen Melanin. What about, insert real name here. Exactly. Like, what about me? Exactly. That's you know, why I said this, like, year, this year was going to be my selfish year. Yeah, for like, sure. More trips just for myself. Like, I've even booked trips that don't include getting booked by a sub. Mm-hmm. Don't want to do it. I just mm-hmm. want to go on a trip. That'd be so it. hard for me, though. Yeah, I know. Because you be thinking so about, the, you be thinking about the opportunities like, and the possibilities. You'd be like, oh. Like, like, I can just, <laughs> just want to do it. Like. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's hop back into it. So mm-hmm. what is your form of domination? So like, what's all the kinks that you're into? Like, you know how people say they're more nurturing, more sensual. Like, how would you describe Queen Melanin? Queen Melanin is Miss Whoop That Ass. Okay. 100%. <laughs> I don't know if that's I am in the content. very much <laughs> into impact play. Anything mm-hmm. that I'm very sadistic. Mm-hmm. Like, that's my style. It's always been my style. I'm like, even when it comes to, like, with friends, I'm the friend. I'm laughing hella hard. I'm going to hit you a little bit. Not on purpose. Yeah. But it's just, like, a natural <laughs> thing. Like, I'm that type of friend. So it's like being sadistic has always been natural for me. Y'all should have seen her in London. Girl, Ooh. we was getting down, baby. We was getting down and we was getting down. No, you know who's getting down? Tiara. Tiara was getting down too. She was. Madam Carrie, I'll call her Pow Pow. She be like Pow Pow. pow. <laughs> that was a time. Yeah. yeah, and it's interesting though, cause that was my first time doing like a bare fist beat down. Mm. I was like, oh, like. I don't want to scratch my knuckles yeah. up. Like, this is supposed to hurt you. You know, you I'm saw like, me in the scene. I was on the side. Like, <laughs> Y'all got it. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, anything that includes something sadistic. Like, I do a lot of wrestling. I do boxing. Mm-hmm. I love ball busting is my absolute favorite. I don't get booked for it a lot. Mm-hmm. And I think it's because people see my extreme videos mm-hmm. and they're like, and they Whoa, like, I don't want that for me. That's a lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I'm like, it doesn't always have to be on that level. It can be, you know, I could do a little light ball busting, even though I'm probably going to be bored. Like, you came for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> let's yeah. let's get to it, baby. Yeah. 
Like I had a, a ball busting session the other day and I seen him before. I don't know if you've seen the video I just posted, mm -hmm. but I seen him before. And the first time I seen him, is it the one where like, he was squeezing the balls and tapping? Yes. Yeah, I just, I just Girl, saw he's that. He's so fucking <laughs> scary and dramatic. He's so little. He was so he's little. so skinny. He's so adorable though. He a little young Those boy. Those be the ones that be wanting the hardcore stuff. Yeah. Like, you'd be surprised. Like, yeah. I feel like for them, it's like a, it's like. Uh, something they want to check off their list, mm -hmm. you know, that they was able to put up with it and do it, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he said he's been like into it for a while, like watching different videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. But girl, he talked himself up this time because, like, I seen him. I think it was like September, mm -hmm. right before we went to London. I came to New York first, mm -hmm. and he could barely take it at all. So this time he's like, I promise, Queen, like, I'm going to be everything you need. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be perfect. I'm going to take it all. I'm going to take it all. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I got you. He did the same shit that he did last time. Mm -hmm. Being a little bitch, being a little <laughs> pussy. Make sure you watch this, too. Yeah, Because next time I'm rebuff. on your ass and you'll be in bondage because I'm going to take a class and I'm going to make sure Period. you shabarried up or whatever they call it. They call it shabarried <laughs> Yeah, shabarried. I don't know shit about bondage. I'm I wish not, I did. I'm going to be honest with you. Rope is not my thing. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't like doing rope to people, and I don't mm -hmm. like rope being done to me. But mm -hmm. also, too, that comes with my ADHD brain. Girl, I ain't got the patience. Too. I ain't got the patience yeah. to sit there and tie up or be tied up. So, subs, mm -hmm. if you listening, don't book me for that because it's I don't do it. Mm -hmm. I don't do it. But that's why I haven't done it yet either. Yeah, like, it seems like it take a lot. That look like a lot. So, also speaking of kinks, what kinks don't you do? Where you just like, no, it's a hard, it's a hard limit. I don't do nothing with uh, blood. Okay, which sounds like contradictory compared to what I just said. Mm -hmm. I don't like bodily fluids coming from them. Mm -hmm. I'll give you some bodily fluids. I'll yeah. do a little golden shower. You yeah. know, I'll do shit like that. But I don't, mm -mm. I don't like when I get foot worship and they spitting on my feet. Oh don't my you gosh. fucking spit on my feet like yeah. you sucking dick. Yeah. Don't do that. I don't even like when I'm like, throat fucking in with a strap on and yeah. they gag and the spit get like too close to me like yeah. i just i don't i know. like it for video i like that for part video, for video yeah, but it's like fire for video mm -mm. but mm -hmm. other than that I'm yeah like, ooh, keep ooh. it in your mouth I, but i need to wash off now yeah like, and yeah. i think that's another reason that i stopped doing uh foot jobs when i was in the foot industry because it wasn't necessarily being a dom yeah it was i was tired of doing this shit first yeah. of all y'all stank like the sheets are black and not white anymore uh, you smell like you didn't wash your ass all fucking day, and your nut is yellow. Why is it yellow? It's the you don't drink it's water. It's the y'all stank for me. Let me yeah. tell you something. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, and this is another side Please of the industry ass, people baby. don't talk about or whatever. Some of these subs be stank. Y'all be funky. They as be fuck. stank, musty as hell. First Give of all, because the they be mad it's nervous, so it. they be sweating. Yeah, be musty as hell when they take their clothes off and you can smell their funk. Oh my god, y'all. It be. I bet you if they took their drawers off right now. It would smell like eggs and bounce that ass in here. And I don't appreciate it. So that's why I'm like, all right, keep it away. I hate you. You know the I've been like, I've been like, okay, get on the I'll be like, look, they'll take off the I'll be like, okay, get on the floor. Like yeah. I'm breathing like from like it's it's nasty. So Girl. please wash your ass. Like wash your ass. It's not that hard. And you should want your ass washed anyway before you come. Learn a good session. deodorant. You know, so speak, uh, but speaking of speaking of of stinky smells, I noticed you do fart fetishes. Absolutely. So let so let's talk about. That. It's not me. Just tell me, I'm not the problem. Tell me, the problem. Tell me about <laughs> fart fetishes. So tell me how you even like prepare for that. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I've seen some fart fetish content, mm -hmm. and a part of me is thinking that a lot of people are just putting the sounds, mm -hmm. fake what? sounds, over it. Mm -mm. But I don't know. So first of all, you have to learn your body. This mm -hmm. is a very like challenging experience where you're like, okay, what gets me going? I'm lactose as fuck. Mm -hmm. So when I started the fire fetish, I would like drink a whole gallon of fucking milk. Not a whole mm -hmm. gallon, but like close to it. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I got this person and this person. I want a fart session. They want it back to back. I got to be farting the whole time. Let me just make sure that I drink this milk yeah. and I'll be good. I accidentally shot it on somebody one time. Not going to lie. A lot of guys that are into the fart fetish, they would absolutely love that shit. Mm -hmm. He did not. He did it. Happened. But I think it eventually grew on him, and he's mm -hmm. actually out here. Okay. He's been trying to book me again for a while, and I can't go back because I'm traumatized. Like, you thought you were the only one that was traumatized. <laughs> I was traumatized. Like, you made me want to quit the whole industry. Like, I See, was my, like, my issue is that I'm lactose too, but when I yeah. get to that point, my stomach just hurts so bad mm -hmm. that I just need to... I, I can't imagine, like, getting ready for a session where my stomach just feel like Hurting. That. And then, That's like, what if, what you got to learn your body. Because, like, you know, what if the like, sub was to cancel last minute? Now you just pull Make apart. a video. <laughs> Make a video. 
get on live. Uh, it, it's something to be utilized in every form. Yeah. If I think I've only had one person from the fart industry cancel on me, mm-hmm. and that's because he was nervous, pussy ass. Yeah, they be, they be pussy nervous. ass. Have you ever had like a the first time you started doing it? Was you ever like laughing? Oh yeah, I laugh the whole time, still to this day. Yeah, it's so funny, especially when it's loud as hell. I'd be like, "Oh, you nasty (laughs) mother! Suck this ass out!" (laughs) No, somebody's funky ass fart. I always, I always do it. The first time I heard about fart fetish, I was like, "Yo, like there's Mm -hmm. literally something for everything, and people Mm -hmm. really, you know, love that." And eventually, I want to do it too, but I just know I'm goofy as hell. Yeah, like, but it's it's enjoyable because it is the most non-maintenance thing that i have to do like i like to eat regardless yeah so it's easy to get there for me yeah. you know, i can't speak for everybody but for me it's easy to get there and they don't care what you look like mm-hmm. if the farts is coming through how they need to come through mm-hmm. and they smell how they need to smell and they as loud as they need to be mm-hmm. that's all they need yeah and if you got a little ass on you it does even better yeah even better I can't you know imagine. so i'm like I, I just feel like i can be not to say that i'm not myself with my femdom subs and my mm-hmm. femdom subs like because i'm absolutely gonna be me regardless of who i'm with mm-hmm. but it's something about the fart boys that i love them i love y'all i appreciate y'all yeah. like i feel so lax and comfortable and like we just be chopping it up like I got 50 50 clients, like 50% black, 50% white. And they yeah. all be cool. Even the white boys. Up and up yeah. Yeah. Like there was this one white boy that was, uh, I let him session at my house because we've done like four sessions now. I'm mm-hmm. like, he's super cool. He's so harmless. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, he I trust his ass you. anyway. So exactly. And baby, you know about them Texas laws. Mm-hmm. So don't play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, he was talking about like Erica Badu and stuff. I'm like, what you, what you know? I say you better play that funky he, music. He Googled boy. that before he came over. No, right. <laughs> He ain't slick. No, nah, but he's cool. He's so cute. He's adorable. <laughs> but I enjoy I enjoy uh, the fart fetish a lot because you you meet a lot of cool people and I love hearing their stories because I'm like, how the fuck did you, you get, get into this? this? Yeah, because let me tell you something. Even my when my friends even fart, they be. Let me tell you, my best friend one time he farted in my house. I said, you literally have to go home. Like you have Ooh. to leave. I cannot take people farting Ooh. next to. I hate it. Ooh. I hate yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like it has to like slip out accidentally, but like to be like intentionally <laughs> farting. My best friend he'll. Lip is like I'm like yo, you yeah. don't have to go. Like that's I that's can't. funny. I know exactly who you're talking about. Too. Yeah, like, him on your Twitter. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, but I feel like man. men farts are worse though. They are. They nasty. my boyfriend farts real, a lot, and I'm they like, real nasty. So tell us, tell us about the the wrestling. So and the, the wrestling and the scissoring that we're gonna see today in a few minutes. Yes. So I got into wrestling from finding out about Session Girls, which shout out to Session Girls. This isn't sponsored, but it should be. Jennifer, talk to me. <laughs> um. I found out about that through Session Girls, and I 